This year, growers across the Northern Plains successfully harvested another crop of green peas, yellow peas, lentils, and chickpeas. And despite a collapse in market prices brought on mainly because of ongoing trade disputes with China and India, U.S. farmers are still very much interested in raising false crops. I think the first thing was people are seeing some of the economic returns, and as they look past that and get a little deeper, they can see there's some agronomic benefits to raising pulses as well that complement their whole farming operation, not just their checkbook. Montana now leads the entire nation in pulse crop production, and it's because more and more farmers who have traditionally raised wheat are giving pulses a try. You know, northeastern Montana, North Dakota, we're doing pulses, and uh, my brother and I thought there was a better way to uh, agronomically support the ground. We think, figured there had to be something to better the soils and not do a wheat fallow rotation. And so we started experimenting with it. We didn't have a lot of experience, but we started throwing them in, and here we are 20 years later with quite a few acres of them now. Despite the trade disruptions, U.S. pulses remain in high demand by consumers both here at home and around the world, and for good reason. They're high protein, high fiber, just returned from a food show. Everybody likes their snack foods, but they want healthy snack foods. Peas and lentils, garbs, chickpeas can be part of that solution. So really, I think long term, the outlook for pulse crops is just great. And food processing companies agree. That's why they're investing significant capital to build the infrastructure needed to support emerging commodities like pulses. You know, Columbia's, we're investing a lot of money in the state of Montana with a, with a non-GMO canola crushing plant in Great Falls. We're investing a lot of money in Plentywood, building another processing facility, because people are starting to grow these things more and more, you know, because everybody's looking for something to make money instead of, you know, capturing spring wheat, winter wheat, durum, you know, corn, soybeans, whatever. As for the market outlook for pulses in 2019, industry experts say if India has production problems and trade tensions ease with China, U.S. growers could see 15 to 17 cent lentils in the late February and early March time frame, which would be considerably higher than what they're worth right now. In Billings, Russell Nimitz, MTN News.